Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Targeted Loot Guide. Today is August 25th, and I'm Agent Shadow. And hey, if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing those subscribe and like buttons below. And go ahead and drop a comment below on what you're farming for today, or if you have any questions or feedback. All right, so let's get started with the DZ first, then we'll do DC and New York City last. We do got chess pieces in DZ West, and Patrol Defense in DZ South, and then shotguns in DZ East. So for the shotguns, you can get the rock and roll shotgun with perfectly extra. Um, Petrov, nothing really that great uh, that I could think of really off the top of my head. And then chess pieces, you could get um, the one with ferocious calm, I think it is, or no, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's ferocious calm with perfect overwatch and then door kickers knock with perfect spark. But just keep in mind that I know in DZ West today, we got the Emperor's Guard at the at the vendor, which has skill tier and skill damage rolled on it. And then in DZ South, we got the Door Kicker's Knock at the vendor with weapon damage and skill haste. And then we got the Hollow Man Mask today at the DZ East vendor. And that has an armor roll and hazard protection on it. So if you guys are looking for any of those, you can also hit up the DZ vendors as well. All right, guys, highlights for the north side. We got Fenris Group AB in Camp White Oak, Mass at Coney Island Ballpark, Hana U at the Amusement Park, and Gilegard over here at Manning National Zoo. And nice, it looks like Kenley College is open. I, I don't know why anyone goes here, but just in case you do want to or you don't have the diamond back yet, you need to finish this to get the diamond back for the first time. Hana U, you can get the Force Multiplier Backpack with Perfect Combined Arms. Mask, you can run for Coyote's Mask or Refarming for the Vile Mask. And then Finners is good for that 10% assault rifle damage, and Gila Guard is great with shield builds. All right, highlights on the west side: we got Walker Harrison Co. at the Federal Emergency Bunker. So if you're looking for the perfect headhunter chest piece, you'd want to grab that here today. We also got Sokolov Concern at Bank Headquarters. So if you're running SMG build, you always want to run this set. If you have an SMG as primary or secondary, replace that with Providence Defense. And then Rolla Holdings is also great for the three piece aces and eights, two piece of Rolla Holdings, and one piece perfect headhunter build for a headshot build. Overlord for your Fox's Prayer knee pads, which gives you, I believe, 8% damage to, uh, targets out of cover. It's actually 10%. And remember, those are still just about best in slot. If you're running a rifle, that's best in slot. If you're running an LMG, contractor's gloves are best in slot. And you can get contractor's gloves and the BTSU gloves here at Lincoln Memorial fast mission with three bosses at the end it goes by quick also i did want to point out the legendary missions today we got providence defense at district union arena gear sets at capitol building stronghold and seska at roosevelt island if you're able to run those on heroic or even legendary you can get the best rolls possible on legendary i would definitely go and farm providence defense today and maybe even seska even gear sets I and mean, gear sets would be pretty good too usually you don't need to farm gear sets actually but providence defense for sure and seska for sure if you're doing legendary and then submachine guns at darpa research labs if you're looking for the lady death or you're refarming the chatterbox or you need a top tier smg like the vector variants the mpx and the mp5 and then like machine guns at west potomac park the exotics, Bullet King, Pestilence, Named, Good Times, and New Reliable. And that's about it for the west side, actually. You've got Overlord again at Foggy Bottom. And skill attachments up here at West End if you really need a good skill attachment for your build. And then the Sweet Dreams Exotic Shotgun, you can try to get the White House and the two control points right here. All right, highlights for the east side. We got knee pads at Downtown East. You got the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads. You got the Fox's Prayer knee pads. And then you got the Sawyer's knee pads that you can farm for today. Assault Rifles, Chameleon, you can also get the Future Perfection on the Mechanical Animal Weapon. You can get the Burnout FAMAS named weapon. And then the top tier weapons would be like the FAMAS, the Military AKM, Police M4s, G36s, all that good stuff. And then also we got Gear System mods at American History Museum if you're trying to farm for those 12% crit hit damage mods, 6% crit hit chance mods. Rifles at Jefferson Plaza, good classic M1A with Rifleman, Boomerang, or Ranger on it, or Diamondback or Merciless. 
And then, of course, gear sets a capital building. You can get everything except for system corruption and then future initiative and foundry bulwark chests and backpack pieces, which are still raid exclusives. And that's about it for the east side as well. Let's go ahead and check out New York City and then I'll let you guys go. All right, guys, so we do got Seska at the tombs, Murakami at Civic Center, assault rifles at two bridges, and holsters at Stranded Tanker. Now, holsters at Stranded Tanker, if you need the Imperial Dynasty, get it today. You could also get the forge here with the 50% extra shield health, but just remember, this is where the Imperial Dynasty drops. It's the main source, and you got holsters today for targeted loot, so if you need it, grab it. You could also check out my Eclipse Protocol build, four piece with the Imperial Dynasty and Golan gear check that build out it i love it i was just using it yesterday that imperial dynasty i still think is better than the vile mask but that's just my opinion and then badger tough for the perfectly unbreakable chest piece wyvern wear for that 10 percent skill damage i would run sokol of concern at wall street instead of dc wall street is i think a much better mission than over there in dc and then china light for those explosives damage builds all right agents well that's going to be it for the targeted loot guide today for august 25th 2020 thank you guys so much for watching subscribe and like if you enjoy the content click join to join the channel for exclusive perks and hey i'll see you guys in the next video take care agents